Hi Greg, the Brickitect here. Today I have another Lego Mail video for you, and it's actually related to my last Lego Mail video. Here is the package, and you're probably thinking to yourself, that looks a little small to be a Lego set, and that's because it isn't a Lego set. So let's open this up, and I'll show you what I got here. As I mentioned, this is related to Lego 5867, I believe it was, the Super Speedster, and this is the package that I got. It is Amazing Vehicles. This is actually a book that I ordered on Amazon. I think it was about $14. And I'll uh, take you over to my table to show you a little more what this book's all about. Here we can get a better look at the book. The full title is The Lego Build It Book, More Amazing Vehicles, Build 10 Lego Models. This is actually the second volume of this book, and I bought the second volume because I thought the builds were a little bit better than the first volume. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, all the builds from this come from the pieces from Lego Creator Set 5867. So if you can find this set, you can pretty much build everything that's inside here, and I'll show you all of the builds that you can make from this. On the back of the book, they show you the 10 sweet models you can build, as they say on there. We'll start up here. It's the Hot Rod, Forklift, Wrecker. Then we have the Roadster, Gran Turismo, Dune Buggy, Chopper, Big Rig, F1 Racer, and lastly, Excavator. As you see down here, the price is $19.95. I picked that up for $14 on Amazon, which I don't think is too bad considering that you're building 10 more models than what you would have had with this Crater 3-in-1 set. So I paid $37 for that, and then I picked this up for another $14. So I have about $50 bucks invested in this set, but for all the stuff that I'm going to make from this, I think it's a pretty good investment. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're interested in seeing what's inside the book, so we'll take a quick look inside. And as you can see, there's some nice glossy photos in here. And it actually goes on to talk about the author, which, you know, I was impressed with the models. And you can see here that the gentleman that designed all these worked for LEGO Group, so it's not surprising that they are so good. And then it shows the graphic artist that also worked on this book. And you can see some of his work down here and how well done that is. Quite impressive with the photos in here. So then you move on. This shows the pieces that you'll use in here, which you should have if you have LEGO Set 5867, like I mentioned. And then it shows again the 10 builds you can make, and I'm really excited about quite a few of these. And then you move on to the next page, which shows sort of like a comic book, and then there's some building techniques on the next page, and then you move into the actual build. So there is the hot rod that you saw, which was build one. It kind of just looks like a regular Lego manual, only a little flashier with like a little bit of highlighting and stuff on it. And it goes, goes on like that, so I won't bore you with all the details, but each one of these is put pretty similar to that, and you can pretty much build all that stuff that I showed you in the back, and it's pretty simple. As you can see, the sets, or the steps themselves, aren't too bad. It's pretty much anyone can follow. I wouldn't recommend this book for a younger kid, but overall, I'm really excited about having this. In the last page, it shows some of the other stuff that you can buy. And like I mentioned, there is a Lego Build It Book Volume 1 Amazing Vehicles, but like I said, I think I like the builds from this volume a lot better, so I picked that one up. But you can buy that as well if you're really into it. And it uses the same set, so you could really make 20 models off of what you already have, so it's not too bad in that regard. And so are some of the other books that you can buy. I'm really interested in a lot of these Lego books. It's fun just to kind of learn some new things from. So I'm obviously pretty excited about this book. I reviewed all the main builds from the LEGO Set 5867, so I'm going to, over the next 10 weeks, each week review one build from this, starting with the first one ending with the 10th, so you'll get an opportunity to see all the stuff actually built from this, and you can decide if it's something you want to buy or not. And I'm really excited to get into this, so I thank you for watching this video, and I'll have plenty more up soon.